everyone and welcome back to Harvest Village here at Leaf Valley. As you can tell and hear, I have definitely fixed up the whole audio issue that we've had for the past two episodes with the exception of Undertale. Um, I have no idea what was going on. I was able to fix it though before I recorded yesterday's Undertale episode and I, I don't know how that happened. It just did. So, whatever. Uh, judge not, I guess. I don't know. But it's all fixed now, and I shouldn't have any more issues. And even on a brighter note, Hero of the Valley seems to be running well in OBS, so from now on, all my video games will be recorded with OBS. Thank goodness, because I do know there were some staticky music issues with um, Loilo, however you want to pronounce it, recorder. But, you know, I'm loyal to it. It's definitely helped me throughout the months of recording when I got this new computer, the one um, that revived itself, thank goodness, and because I used to do it with live stream recorder, and it was always so slow. Then a friend told me about Loilo, and I used that for the longest and recorded my voice afterwards, or during it with Audacity, and now I can just flat out use this, so it works out wonders. Editing's a little bit easier, better now, and I'm happy for it. Definitely, yeah. Alright, so we gotta take this up. Because all of this. Oh, why did I do that? I hate doing that sometimes. Only because every time I do, I end up getting way too much, or I have to go through a million and one items. There's not much in our inventory anyway. That's not the point, though. I need four of these. We'll do that anyway. Hello. Three, four, five. And I remember in the last episode, I couldn't figure out about the prized breadfruit. I actually looked it up just to see, like, okay, did I actually do this? Where did I put it? Turns out you have to put it in the the area near the goddess spring, and I just forgot. Ah, who knows? But it's there, and it's actually ready to be harvested, because we do have an event for Vonal that's going to start today. And... The only reason why I know that, that it's actually there, is because this is my second time recording it. For some weird reason, after I bought chicken feed from Bob, the... I couldn't equip anything else. The chicken feed just stayed right there in my... Uh, in my... As, as, as if it was equipped. I'm like, it's weird. And every time I tried to change it, even drew the menu, it would give me that, um, the sound it makes when you can't do it, and I'm like, why? So, I kinda had to restart it and do it all over again, because I was planning on spending this entire day, uh, cutting down fodder for the horses, because, you know, I, I was running out, I kinda needed it, and, yeah, it wouldn't let me, it was weird. Which is upsetting, because this was a golden egg, and now it's not, so it's like, a uh, money loss chickens you betrayed me did you you did betray me oh there's a fodder still there uh, ruined me I'll remember that tomorrow hopefully <gasps> I didn't milk the cows Jesus how did I forget that all right let's get in there we go you try sure that everyone yep 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 and yes that's weird I didn't mess up that bad I never do Alright, so let's go ahead milk you. Do it good. Push you away. We'll sell you. I definitely still want to cut down fodder. But I think after the animals, I'll go ahead. Oh, come on. I'll go ahead and equip it. At least that way it's not too much of a total loss. The only issue is if it happens again, I don't think just going ahead and. Um. And restarting the program is going to work. Worst comes to worst, I'll at least get through the rest of the day and then just restart it all and just group everything together. It's going to be a little weird, but what can you do? Can't do nothing. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip the sickle now. That way, if it does become an issue, it won't happen again. Now I do know we have four breadfruits here ready to be harvested. So let's go ahead and pick that up. There we go. I realized that I had a goal to put 99 of everything in my fridge. Yeah, I'm just forgetting about that goal. I don't need it. It's not important. Alright, let's go ahead and 
see, hopefully, Parsley. I've been looking for him for, a few, for like a while now, and can't find him. Parsley, why? Unless he left already. Did he leave already? No, it's not time yet. Why would he leave? Oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, we do. You, get, you definitely lose your way around here. All these twists and turns and whatnot. It, it happens, you mean. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, let's see. I'll just over here. Nope, not important. I was hoping for a full moon berry, but... I kind of had a brain fart right there. I was trying to figure out what can I talk about. Nothing interesting happened today. I mean, I went to Chick-fil-A. And apparently there's one right near where I live. It's right near two... I live between, um, near a campus, which is literally right next to another campus for another college. And right in between it, on the other college's grounds at Chick-fil-A, and I've never been there. And Jonathan wanted to go, so I went with him. And... Their food's actually good. I can't believe I've never had it before. I don't know how long it's been there, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. I even tried things I've never tried before. I like trying new things. I feel like that, that shows my age. I'm only 25. My birthday was in December. And... I don't know. Right, let's do this event. I still don't understand breadfruit. I'm um, bread out of breadfruit. Just saying. Don't get it. Alright, let's go ahead and do our daily thing, which is talking to Miss Gwenny, because we love her, and we're gonna marry her, no matter what. I should, before I end this episode, check the girl's heart levels, just in case. Like, Gwen should be at the full five, heart, five or whatever, six red hearts, and the girl should be lower than that. I'm hoping, just because how much more can I befriend her without just being creepy? Good morning. Right, excuse me, excuse me. Here we go. Squeeze in here. Now, I remember last time I got that, I didn't catch what he said just because... I'm usually used to him saying the same thing over and over again, so um, before my second time recording this, I checked it out, you know, I got that same line and I looked at it and I'm like, how much older is Joe compared to Katie? I do know in Save the Homeland, Katie's like 16 and Joe is like 20 something. So, the fact that he has that line right now kind of makes me feel like he's a lot older. And nothing wrong with that. I mean, age of consent is in like in different states and countries. It's all different. And in New York, you're 17 for age of consent and all that, for like dating and stuff or anything. And um, I think in PA, it's the same thing. But, you know, if anyone feels creeped out, just go ahead and look it up. I mean, it's different, like, mentally, but age-wise, I guess you're fine. I don't know where this came from. It just, I don't know, it seems a little strange to just think about how big of an age gap they have. In fact, before we cut down the grass, let's go check that out. I want to know the age gap. But, like, Joe's definitely much older than Katie. Okay, Aria, I don't know what you're mouthing for, but okay, just on the PS now and not do anything. Get a job, my gosh. Get a job! Alright, character profile. Right, Katie is... They don't say. But since we're here, we might as well check it out. Okay, so that's four. Four. Cool, cool. One, two, three, six. Nice, that's what we wanted. Yes, four. Lilish 3, that's not that bad. Harvest Goddess is 3. I think we can see with Alice at least. And Alice is 3. Alright, now you're worried. Gwen's knocking them out of the park. So let's spend this day cutting down fodder for our animals because 
They definitely need it. And there should there would have been an event tomorrow involving Chester, but it can't happen in foul weather, so we're not getting it. But race day is coming up and you know what? That worries me because like I haven't raced in a while and I can't practice. This is definitely a bad time to get back into this. Just because how do I race? I do not remember. Right? Come on, let's just get you back into a frowning phase, or at least let me do this entire row. There we go. There we go. Nice. Alright, there we go. Sorry, I got a little distracted. My cat looked strange that she was playing something and I didn't like it. Okay, she's fine. There we go. Ooh. She's scared. Of, she's scared. Looking good at me. I thought something bad was happening. Right? Right, baby? Alright, let's go ahead. Oopsie, I forgot about that. Alright, there we go. I don't think this helps with anything, but hopefully it does. If not, then whatever. No, but at least our character is not like brownie face. But, oh, yeah, let's go cut down more, I guess. We need the fodder. I wonder how often I can do that, just go back and forth. Let's go ahead, be bored, and do this. I mean, we fished last time. Let's be a little bit more productive. Especially since yesterday was the heavy rain, so it's like, that's a little difficult to recover from. Oh boy. Go back to a frowny face. Right, let's just do this row. We'll go to the cafe, get a snack or two. Then we'll go to bed. There you go. There we go. Put this down. Oh boy. There we go. I wish I could group the rainy episodes in like not sm not smaller categories or anything, but like just in like the span of two videos. But it's so hard because we're so far into the game right now, and everyone has like events usually around the time, and I don't understand why. Like, why would you have events during the rain? You confuse me. But whatever. Who am I to judge? Let's go ahead and get some snacks because holy crud, that's so much red. So much red. So much of it. But you know, we'll get some snacks and then we'll end this ep not end this episode. We'll end this day and then we'll move on to the next day and maybe we'll get the event tomorrow. We probably won't, but it doesn't hurt to try. It does not hurt to try at all. I'm actually really tired. Which gives me no which I have no reason to. It's just I'm tired. Oh, I thought it was parsley for a moment there. Eh, I'm doing alright, per se. Hello, Katie. I did not know you were that far up in your terms of hearts. There we go. Eh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, cheesecake? Why not cake? Yes. A little happier now, buddy? No, you're not, huh? That's concerning. Let's have another herb tea. Oh no, yes. And we're here, we might as well go ahead and sell some things. Alright, that didn't work. Bread fruit. Egg. I should have... I really just want them to be like... Um... Not frowny and more... There you go. There we go. Let's go check out Gita. You know what? Because it says I have an event planned for her, but not today, but later in the month of August or fall, whatever you want to call it. But to my knowledge, we won't be getting that one because I messed up. I skipped a step. Luckily, it wasn't really part of the event. We finished her event. It was just more like a friendship thing, and I really wanted it, but it happens. It, it happens. I can't. I have no one to believe in myself. Huh. You know what would be nice one day if I could actually stream something? If not on YouTube, at least on Twitch. I, I have a Twitch, I just can't do anything with it because streaming is apparently hard or something like that. Maybe on my days off, I'll, you know, like on a weekend, I'll test it to see what happens. Aww. 
Oh, I don't have an egg. Do you like walnuts? Oh, she does. Nice. That worked out in my favor. Still can't find Parsley, though. I swear, it's like he vanishes in there. I don't know how. I know he doesn't go in there. Hmm. Now that I mention it, who knows? If he's not here right away, I'll just walk out. Here. Nope, he's not there. I mean, uh, fine. I'll look a little bit deeper. Let's see. Nope, not here. There's a cherry here. Or a cranberry, whatever they call it. I'll just take that. Thank you. Farewell. I just don't know where he'd be. Maybe by now he'd be in near Lila's stuff, but I think he only does that on her days off, which is Sunday. So I, like, don't, um, run into each other if you can't see them type of deal. Alright. Go ahead and go through all this. All the way through. Straight to this area. <laughs> I thought I heard something. You know, outside. Oh, no, he's not here, so. I'm ending the day. We're going to the next day. Get to go ahead and have fun, I guess. I really wish we could train before the race on the 25th, because I really don't remember anything. And that worries me. There we go. Open the door. And then we go to the next day. Save and sleep. There you go. Yep. Perfect. For all those events. Nice. And this episode's more of a pink episode. Who cares? Tomorrow will be sunny. Marvelous. Alright, let's go on. Walk right on out. Um, no mail. Which expected you only you really only get mail when you complete a request that wasn't plot related. Like if I was to go to Lewis and he says bring me ten caterpillars and I did it and someone would send me a letter saying, Hey, I got my order, thanks, and it's like I don't know what you need ten caterpillars for if you're not Tim, but okay then. I'll just let that happen. So I'll brush you guys. And I do have that one piece of fodder in my inventory, so we're gonna give that to someone. Oh! He has like an open mouth smile when he brushes the animals. How cute! I just got him. Got him. I was about to call him a him. Got her. Got her. There's two more, two more cows left. Oops, excuse me. Burps. Alright. I forgot a drink. My throat is parched. Which could be one of the reasons why. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Um, one of the reasons why I'm not really talking much without like a proper drink to dehydrate myself. It's difficult sometimes. Howdy face. But whatever. Let's just do this. There we go. See, that, this is why I didn't like putting it all in my inventory and pulling it out because I always, always forgot one. And then I would have to wait until tomorrow to use it or just get rid of it, which in these desperate times when you hardly have fodder, you don't, you can't do that. You just can't. You can't do that. Which rainy day should really be spent on like, gaining fodder instead of doing everything else. But, I don't know. I usually try and do what I can during the rainy days because during like, non-rainy days we have so much to do, like we're running around because people are out more. Don't know where Parsley is. He's it's like he's disappeared in thin air. Which I honestly think he probably already left. I mean, I would have to go through my old videos to find out because I forgot. But whatever, Parsley. I hope you're having fun though. <laughs> oh, I know you're up here, guys. Oh boy. Sorry, it's like 1 or 4 p.m. and I went to bed at like 5 and woke up at 12 to a new. Voltron Season 2 trailer, so I stayed up for that. <laughs> so I found out it happened and I was too excited to get back to sleep. But it would have been good, especially since I work tomorrow at like 4, which isn't a big deal. Just 4 o'clock. It's just weird. Like, I, I do try to not get too personal in these outside of like little tidbits where a customer made me laugh, but like, I don't know. If, if my boss is scheduling me for 4, and, and, but he wants me to come in at 3, like, why didn't you just put me on the schedule for 3? Like, you usually do. I don't know why. 
since I got back from vacation, he's been like that. I mean, makes zero to no sense. And I actually had to come into work an hour late on Wednesday because I went to the community college for, to talk about my classes. And, um, oh, no, you are So sorry, everyone. And, you know, I I went in at 4, and the day, two days before that, I was scheduled for a 4 o'clock shift, and he asked me to come in at 3, it's like, why didn't you just, you know, schedule me for 3 like you usually do? So whatever. Part of me kind of feels like I'm, they're trying to get rid of me, or that someone's trying to make me quit, which is quite possible, but I, th this is definitely my advice to people. Don't quit. If you hate your job, and I understand about hating your job, don't quit it until you have another job lined up, just so that, you know, it's easier. You're you're not struggling to find a job, because at least, it's, I don't know why, it seems easier to get a job when you already have a job than it is for you to not have a job and try to find a job. Oh, that's just my thought process. I mean, do what you guys want to do. I can't stop you. Just my suggestions, my advice. Maybe you should take advice from some YouTube gamer who's just playing harvest games about harvesting moons and crops. <laughs> but, you know, take my advice with a pinch of salt. That's it. That's it. So, what are you doing out here in the rain like you always do? Yeah, I know. I still, I want to know what the original line for that is. Just because I don't, I don't think that's what he says. That's just me. Alright, we've seen this line before. Katie, yep. You, you want to see what she's like in a few years. Yep. Good morning indeed. Aww. If you don't think that's the sweetest thing in the world, I don't know what is. What do you care so much about people? It, I remember my videos used to be talking about the Carpenter Trio and how much I love them. It's still true. Still, so true. Now, worst part is, like, am I actually gonna have to hunt him down throughout this entire valley for him? If I have to, I will. Uh, I don't know, there's him over there. Like, I just can't imagine where he'd be. Like, I've been around this whole entire valley almost and never found him. It's like... Barbie kind of feels like it is a glitch. Which would be a weird glitch. Unless I actually spend my time looking for him. I just don't know his schedule, and I don't think there's a schedule of him for online. Ooh, booming berry. We're getting it. We're grabbing it. There we go. Let's put that up. Let's pick this up. That's nice, nice. Alright, let's go look for Parsley. I mean, the event we're gonna get for him later in the season is just him saying, hey, I'm leaving. So, oh, Chester! Hello, Chester. I could, however, I will not do it. I just will not. However, you can go into your house to see if I have maybe an event with you for. That'd be nice. Alright, let's see. House Church. Nope, I guess I, it really has to be in the lake area, not the lake in general. Jeez, I wonder why I'm so wet. It's raining. It's raining, my friend. Alright, let's go continue our hunt for parsley. Like, this is interesting. I, it's, I really kind of miss the layout for save the homeland just because it was so simple and like easy for people to find people but here it's just so difficult like like ruin me why don't you can't just keep spending my day looking for everybody more and I've looked over this entire half of the valley the only places I haven't checked was the villa which I don't think he goes there this time I don't know. Maybe he did leave already. I'm just forgetting it. 
Which it wouldn't surprise me. But still. I don't know, if I did forget it, I'm gonna be upset at myself, like. I didn't forget that. Um there you go, fresh ready for tomorrow. Because our hunt for parsley is definitely taking all shifts. Shifts. All episodes. I mean, worst comes to worst, if he doesn't show up, I'm just gonna go ahead and um fish at the ocean. Or, you know, I can just do that now. Yeah, we'll go into the villa area. And if he's not there, we're gonna go fishing. Yo, I'm I think he's gone. I think he's legit gone already. And I'm just forgetting it. I don't know why it's my in my notes then. But huh. Oh. I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright, let's just fish, I guess. Don't know where he is. Oh, well, it would actually help if I had the fishing rod attached, now wouldn't it? There we go. That's right, buddy. Be something big. Aw. You're not garbage, but you're not anything good either. Oh, there we go. Oh, too low. No, I mean, it's not that low, but... Low enough. Alright, I want you. There we go. Nice and even. Anyone can come get it. That's right. Do it. That's right. There we go. Hopefully you're something big. No, you are not. But at least you're not garbage. No, you're not garbage. You're okay in my eyes. Yeah. Don't know where this fish is at, but okay. So he said the fish is run away from me. Let's do this again. Come on. There you go, buddy. Ooh. Oh, I'm mad. So mad. I only missed it once. And that was enough to lose it forever. Ah, uh, I wonder what it was! <sighs> Whatever. Sniffle. Come on! Ah, we do. There we go. Maybe- I hope this is that fish. Ah, oh, I can't believe that happened! You know what, I- I'm like that a lot where if something bad happened, I'm just like... in shock, even after it's happened. I spilled detergent on... Wednesday, where it, I held it by its cap, and usually it doesn't fall out of my hand, even though to common sense and not, says not to do that, I did it anyway. And it fell, and half of it spilled on the floor. I spent like 20 minutes trying to fix it up and clean it. Ridiculous. And, oh, I was gonna say, none of these fish are biting. Garbage! Absolute garbage! Okay, I see how it is. I'm just gonna go look for Parsley again. Yo, what does that happen? Ugh! I've never caught. I've never had a difficult fish where if I messed up once, it, that was it. I'm mad. Yes, I am. Are you mad? I'm mad. If you're not mad, at least I'm mad for you guys. Nope, he's not here either. Hmm. Maybe he really did leave. I'm gonna look it up after this episode. There's Ronald. Hello, Ronald. I know you have a day off. Let's check the cafe first. If he's not at the cafe, I'm just gonna end the episode. But, that's definitely after I edit this, I'm gonna go and check it out. Because, what? Usually that's not hap- that doesn't happen. And, and, like, how could I forget that if he left or not? It's possible, though. I think he legit left! So I'm not gonna go everywhere looking for him. I'm sorry. I'm gonna end this episode, guys. It was definitely emotional. I guess? Not really. I just... Where's Parsley? Like, there's no way I actually forgot that he left. Right? Right. Right? Maybe? Maybe? I 
don't know. I'll definitely check it out after I end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It's definitely fun. In the next episode, we're going to have the horse race, so you guys are going to see me mess that up, because I don't remember any of it. Then again, even when I do stuff for reasons, I never remember. And if I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. I have the money to spend. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care now.